Friday, it's Friday night, and today I'm gonna drive to Southern Tyrol, which is like four hours away from here, and I will drive through Liechtenstein, Austria, and Italy. And now I'm in Switzerland, so in total it's gonna be four countries. I've just arrived to Austria, and to be able to use the local highways, I need to put this kind of stick uh, on my window. You have to pay 80 euros for the whole year, but it's like three more months till the end of the year, which is kind of a bummer. I've just arrived to Southern Tyrol, and this is my hotel for tonight. Oh, there is a mirror. Uh, <laughs> There are two beds which are separated and there is a couch. I'm pretty fancy, there is a small TV. All right, now it's time to sleep because tomorrow is a big day. It's morning time in here. As you can see, my car is still there. So now I'm about to drive to the today's hike. So I drove almost on the top of this mountain and there is a huge parking with a bunch of cars. I'll change myself first and get ready for the hike. It looks like the beginning of the trail and I don't really know where to walk, but there is one way in there. Uh, there are some secret trails which are not marked on the, on the map and if you go here you won't notice anyone. At least I've been walking like 10 minutes, I haven't seen anyone and the official trail is there. After hiking for half an hour in that unmarked trail I have arrived to very strange place. So there are, there are a couple of pretty high peaks in there. There is no way I can go there without uh, climbing gear and it actually wasn't my intention. I wanted just to go around those uh, mountains. And, uh, there is a path with lots of people. So that's where I have to go somehow. Uh, I don't really know how but if you look here um, you can see you can see certain path. It's quite challenging here because there are a bunch of snow. It's the end of the summer, it's September. It looks pretty climbable down. Um, I think I can make it. Try to first. Never trust snow. I'm not really sure I can go all the way down there. The biggest problem, you know, if you're if you're climbing down and then at some point you realize you cannot climb all the way down, you have to return, it's really annoying. Luckily it's kind of sunny, so I can launch my drone and see what's going on in here. Or maybe here, because there are two different ways. I can't see anyway using my drone, so I'll just um, climb back and descend from that side, from the opposite side and, uh, and go around the mountains. Um, yeah. Ah. Managed to descend down from that hill, it was pretty easy. And now I'm on that tourist trail. Uh, there are a couple of lakes in here. They are all semi-frozen. I've arrived to a place with the hut and a helicopter. And I think this guy annoyed me on the top of that mountain when I was flying my drone. So it's quite a nice valley. I can hear some waterfall. I don't think I'll be able to see it, but it's there. Trust me. So I've got the last section up before the hut. It's over there. It's probably 20 more minutes. And I can decide what else can I do in here. Should I do Via Ferrata or should I just go back? Now I can clearly see the Via Ferrata. It goes around that ridge, but I'm afraid I have not enough time for this. So I need to make up my mind. Here is the hut. Let me check the view. And the view is amazing. You can see the lake. This is a really nice structure. Super cool. I feel like I need to fly my drone in here. Maybe skip via Ferrata. The weather is changing, especially on the top of the mountain. I've decided to skip via Ferrata for the day because uh, I spent much too much time on doing some pictures and drone flights. I'll go directly over there. Made some progress. 
and the weather made some progress as well it's actually very sunny on that part of the mountains you can still see those three towers as usual and my way is there in the cloud finally i'm on the ridge and it's just way down i don't have to climb anymore and this is the last view from that side i've arrived to the cloud as you can see and here's the hut which was at the beginning i think it's like 500 minutes and i can drive finally i can see my car i'm super happy yeah